loves, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome. And if you're new, thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you've heard good things. Um, if you're interested, I really would love if you would subscribe to my channel after this video. And even before, you know, if you feel a vibe already going on, you know, whatever. Um, and like, comment, and share, of course, as always. Um, today's video is going to be super fun. It's more towards my passion, as always, is makeup. I'm a professional makeup artist and licensed esthetician. So I think I'm going to generate my videos more around that specialty. So today's video is going to be what I kind of do as a nighttime routine when I feel extra fancy. And you only want to do the things I'm doing today once, maybe twice a week. Um, example, exfoliation or face mask, something like that. So we'll be getting into that. So stay tuned. Also, we're going to be using some fun products from the Korean beauty line. I just got hip. I've always been hip, but I never like took the plunge. And late last year, maybe later November or so, I started to get on it. I joined this Facebook group, um, Asian Skincare Junkies. Shout out to that page. So helpful. But they really put me on to what I was looking for with my skin. Um, how can I go about it and start it in a way where it's not just going to, you know, all at once. So I got some fun products around Black Friday. That's that's what got me hyped. These Black Friday prices were amazing. So we'll get into some of the products I got. Take off all this beautiful makeup, pop these lashes off, and get comfy. So I'll be right back. Let's go. <laughs> guys all right now that we are comfy got the cute pjs on or whatever pop the lashes off first thing of course i do is use a trusty handy dandy makeup wipe so whatever makeup remover i do use i make sure that it says oil free days i do really know i don't need foundation i just let it loose and let my skin breathe take my chola liner off Yay, back to me, fresh face. All right, so that's done. Go ahead and go in, especially when I have foundation on. I do a two-part cleanse. First product I'm gonna be using is called the All Clean Balm by Hemish. Hemish, I'm not saying that right. So this was so cute when I first got it. Super cute, convenient. You open it up and it comes with a little spatula so elegant so it comes solid it's not like a lotiony kind of a texture it comes pretty solid and you that's why you want the scoop to scoop out the product and it starts off like this right and as soon as you add water to it it's going to emulsify into an oil and that's when it's gonna just take all that oil off. It just melts everything away. So it's, it's such a dope feeling. So you'll just see it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But you see it's like emulsifying already. Is that the right word? But yeah. It's so satisfying when you have foundation on and you see it. You'll see the, the product like turn the color of your foundation. Even after like using a makeup wipe, you know those those don't take everything off right everybody knows that you still need to wash your face after the makeup wipe okay i just want to make sure i only understand that on a drunken night i'm proud if you did anything at that point and then you rinse and it turns into this milky Ew. <laughs> gross milkiness but then it's everything's gone now that's done i just wipe my face i never like don't ever drag your towel across your face um and i do recommend a microfiber towel this is not microfiber but if you have that as an option definitely use that but always want to pat your face never like rub and wipe it because your skin is super sensitive all right so step two of cleansing um this new cleanser is called matcha hemp hydrating cleanser by crave so this one, I'm really enjoying this. It smells delicious. There's hemp seed in it. It's, you don't need a lot. It's working around. It's such a cute packaging too. It gives you like all these little tips on the back. It has matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B5, and sodium PCA. Not sure what the last one is. Hmm. I think they only sell it on their website, crave.com but i'll definitely go ahead and link everything in the description below as always so let's go ahead and get started with this one that's all i'm gonna use right now is a little bit 
just a little bit. What song is that? Oh, yes, yes. It's warm to cold water. I feel, in my opinion, that I don't need a lot. The light is like, okay, I'm sorry if the light is horrible. I'm gonna be a professional one day, I promise, okay? Mark my words, what, what number video is this? Remember it. I feel it cleaning, but not har harming your skin at all. All right, step three. What are we gonna do? So I'm gonna exfoliate today. Earlier today I did um, do a little bit of dermaplaning on my face, which is technically considered exfoliating as well, but we're gonna do a little bit something extra. So for that part, that part, I'm using the Ordinary Peeling Solution. So this is an AHA and BHA solution. So this is gonna help, it's basically like a chemical peel, um, but not as intense as if you go to a spa and they have their own chemical peels. Professional use only on those. This one is dope because you can get it at Ulta. Um, I don't know if Sephora sells it, but this is, what I have, the ordinary, and I love it because it's red, so it looks like vampire blood on your face. I don't know why vampire blood, it's the same color, but it looks like blood when you put it on your face, you'll see. And it comes in this fun dropper. So this, you have to be careful because you really want to read the directions when you get this. When you put this on, it's gonna be a little stingy. I don't want to say burny because that's just scary, but it'll sting a little bit, but that's how you know it's working. Um, and then you just definitely want to apply it evenly. I kind of avoid these areas because if you don't know, this is the most sensitive part of your face, your eyelids and your under eyes right here. It's a thinnest um, skin on your body. So we're going to avoid that, but I'm definitely going to get the nose area, you know, a little bit more of the T-zone around here. Squeeze a little bit into my hand first. Ooh. It can get messy, so squeeze out. Be careful. Cool. And then I'm just gonna apply it evenly. Somebody time me, cause you really only wanna do this for 10 minutes. Woo! That's the stinging part. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Um, no more than 10 minutes because, ha, ah, ha. Ah! Oh my God. I have a, uh, what are those called? God, what is that called? When did I cut my finger? When did I cut my finger? Okay, lesson learned. I'm glad I did it for you guys because that pain was not fun. Ugh! I really don't mean to scare you. It's not usually this bad, but that ish hurt. Ugh! Okay, we'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go cry real quick. I'll be right back, 10 minutes. I survived, I'm okay now because I don't know what it doesn't matter. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I want to use um, lukewarm water to rinse this off. And uh, yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Now, I know it seems like a lot of steps, but this is just when you're feeling fancy and you have a glass of wine and all that fun stuff. So your face is gonna feel pretty like tight after that, it's a great feeling and smooth. Um, so after that, go ahead and do some masks. I'll link the link, link the websites I got all this stuff um, down below, especially this thing because I've heard wonders, I've heard beauty influencers using this, and I saw this and was super excited. The warming eye mask. Get into that. The warming eye masks. Look how cute. You open it up, and you look like that. A bad bunny baby. <laughs> so let's. See. Oh my God. Or you look like this. A sleepy bunny baby. So let's see. Is there only one? I've never tried this. Okay, you know what? First and foremost, let's do the face mask. Now this one is from a Korean beauty line called Cos Cosrx. Cosrx, yeah, pretty sure. Um, if I'm saying any of these wrong or not doing these right for any reason, please just comment below and let me know because like I'm very new to this still. I just started it late November um, around Black Friday, like a week before Black Friday because then I ordered my stuff and then I got them and started using them. So excited. But yeah, please correct me, not in a rude way, but correct me because I, I can take it. But I, I need to know, like I, don't let me, don't let me look stupid. But this one is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. 
Let's get fancy. So this one you can leave on overnight. A lot of people just use it as a moisturizer and then go to bed in it, wake up, rinse. I'm just gonna use this for video purposes as a face mask right now on, um, with my eye masks. And then I'll remove it and then go about my business. I know y'all seen it before. I'm gonna use it for the first time. I've used these jade rollers in the past. I have a green one. I have the rose quartz one. Um, but it's not as fancy as this. I think it vibrates and that's fancy to me. So we're gonna use that later. This is the mask applicator, so it's just like a silicone jank jank. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on first. I'm just gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put it on my hand first. Ooh. Avoid the eye area, kind of like think of you have glasses on because that's where the eye masks are gonna go basically. Really good product because it has the oatmeal and the rice um, ingredients in it. A lot of the products I have have the thermoside rice type of ingredients and that's supposedly what helps with a lot of the acne scars to lighten them up. All right, so now we're gonna put these little masks on, so cute. Let's see how it looks. What is that smell? This doesn't have a smell. What is this, a pad? A feminine wipe? Okay, how? Oh my God, the instructions are in Korean. Lord, help me. I can figure this out. It can't be that hard. I think you're supposed to break it like those hand warmers. Maybe. It has pictures, so that usually helps me. Yeah, yeah, you kind of like move them around like those hand warmers. I mean, that gets the warming activated. All right, so we're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and the face mask, and I'll be right back. How do I look? I can't see. I guess I'm just gonna stand here for 20 minutes because I don't know why I put it on and didn't go relax. I'll be back. Dude, my freaking eyeballs are sweating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, the light is bright. I can see, thank you Jesus. All right. Oh my God, hold on. They made them a lot more smooth. They even felt more moisturizing too. That was fun. My contacts feel a little melty. Other than that, good investment. Still smells weird though, but I guess it's because of the things. <sighs> yeah, that was nice. I'm gonna do warm water and rinse off that other face mask I have on. Ooh, worth it. Okay. Jeez, dude. My contacts. Yeah, they were melting. All right, next. All right, so cool. Step number, I don't know, four? Is this four? Created. Okay, so this is step four order. This is the second time I'm using this, but the first time buying this. Um, so this is called a treatment essence. This is a thing in skincare, especially in the Korean skincare routines. This one is by Time Revolution, and this is a double ferment. Hold on. Fermented double girl. Fermented. Fermented. Get it right. Artesmia annua extract. Didn't say that right. Whatever. Not whatever. It is important. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, so this is the Misha Time Revolution one. It's like a little luxury to your skincare. The point of this is really to you mist, it's a mist, so you really spritz it on, you get it ready for your toner. Oh no, I'm sorry. You get it ready after your toner, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so we're gonna do that. But I'm gonna do the toner first, because I'm pretty sure it is after your toner. So we'll come back to that. So we're gonna do the toner first. I'm pretty sure you tone and then do that, yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, if it's not right, correct me. Don't be rude, but help me out. So we're gonna do the toner first. This is a rice ceramide. Ceramide, girl. Ceramide. 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 How do you pronounce this? Ceramide. Hello, this ceramide. Medicine. This is a rice toner. Um, this is a moisturizing toner. This is really different for me because the toners I'm used to are just liquidy base, um, like water. This one is a little bit thicker. It has a stickiness almost to it. Rice extract in it and those oats um, that are gonna help brighten the skin and help me out with my scarring. So I've really enjoyed using this. Just putting it all over the place. Let your toner dry before any type of moisturizing. Um, so we'll let that dry before I do the essence now. I'm let it dry. So now we're gonna come back to the essence, um, the Misha Time Revolution one. And like I said, it's a mist, it's not a spritz. There is a difference, but I like this. This is a very fine mist. You'll see the difference, um, hopefully, I don't know if you can. Could you see that? I have my eyes closed. Anyway, if you can, I'm sorry, but you get it. Feeling very elegant smell to it. So we're gonna let that dry, but I think I'm gonna use this in, on top of it and go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna do this all over the place. Mm hmm yeah, it's working its magic. So like I said, the point of these rollers are to really kind of, you know, wake up the skin, um, help with elasticity, collagen in your skin, get it, you know, get it moving and going. And it helps to push your products into your skin more too. I'm not really sure what the vibration's about, but I'm liking it. I'm guessing it's just a little extra. Oh, my head. Ooh. It's a little extra help pushing into the product. I don't have any explanation. Cause it's okay, because it's a massager. So I'm kind of massaging my face at the same time, I guess. It does feel good. I feel a little dizzy though. But I'm okay. I wonder if this would help. I have really bad TMJ. And if you don't know what that is, it's when every time you open your mouth a certain way or just opening or eating or anything like that, your jaw pops and it is the most uncomfortable feeling and it's so painful and it makes a horrible noise. And it's always been a problem. I have to sleep with a night guard and everything, but it's, it really does hurt and it gives you headaches and neck pain, it's not fun. But yeah, this could I could see this working. It is, it's like right in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot looser, cause it's so tight in that area. Cool. Ooh, difference. So this, the point of this is of course to help with puffiness. And if you have your eye cream on, you know, you can definitely put it on and then do this on top of it. And it'll help your product get through deeper through the layers of your skin here. Ooh. Get those future crow's feet. I feel like it's gonna start happening. If I do it more and more and more, it'll help even more. Cool, all right, so I had the essence on, all that jazz. I did the toner. Um, I guess the toner was step five and the essence is step, no, the toner was step four. The essence is step five. I'm gonna link everything down below. Don't mind me. So now we're gonna go ahead and do my moisturizer. I always do moisturizer first before eye cream. So this one I'm using, this is a mochi water cream, or is it mochi? I'm so sorry. Um, but the brand is Wonder. If you can see that. And this is a Korean beauty brand a huge jar and it comes like this, wiggly, fun, smells great. And you only need a little bit, like I said, it spreads very easily all over the place. And this is super moisturizing. You always wanna put it on your neck as well in an upward motion. All right, so after 
after that, then I apply eye cream. So that's kind of the routine. You do your moisturizer first, and then whatever eye cream you have, that's, what, that's when you apply it. Eye creams always last. If this was the daytime, instead of that moisturizer I just did, I would do a moisturizer I have with SPF in it. You can also do that moisturizer and mix it with this SPF um, or a plain SPF that you have that's not considered a moisturizer and mix those together, make a little concoction and do that. Um, but usually I just do this one by itself because it's both and it's helped me so far. I really enjoy this. This is the Casa RX um, brand again, Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, and this is 50 plus. This is a good one, so recommend it. I also wanted to mention I bought another moisturizer from Casa RX. This is called Centella Blemish Cream. So this comes in a little jar. And this has a lot of good ingredients for sensitive skin or blemish prone skin, anything like that. Um, it's enriched with centella extract. It's a common cream to help soothe the sensitive and irritated area. So I kind of use this as a spot treatment. Um, I'll probably just do it actually right now. The only thing is it leaves a white cast. Yeah, so this is brand new. I'm opening this for the first time. I bought this a while ago, but like I said, I waited to use it because I was introducing products and still kind of using some I had. Um, so this is an eye cream. It's a Benton Formation, Fermentation, I cannot walk to my, that, eye, that mask got me all sleeping. This is a Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. I don't know what it means, but I did a lot of research and I talked to a lot of people in that face group that I, Facebook group that I'm in and they said this was a good one. So we'll try it out. So I'm just gonna open this. I really appreciate this. I'm not, I hope people understand how appreciative I am of these sanitation rolls here. All of my products came with a silver thing like that. Like on here, it had a silver tab you had to pull off and then use it. I feel like a lot of products don't have that and it's just open and anybody can use it in the store and get away with it and you never know just thinking about it. So yeah, and you can tell this is fresh. I'm gonna peel it off, cool. Does it really have a smell? I have a little smell, but nothing crazy. I usually do a little like around the whole orbital bone here too. So right here, I'm applying some castor oil to my lashes and my brows to help them grow out a little bit more. So I'll keep you posted how that's been going. So the last but not least thing I'm going to do is a lip mask. Um, I meant to do this earlier when I had my eye mask on, but this one, this is a lip sleeping mask, specifically to go to sleep in. I've never tried something like this. This is from the brand Lineage. I think they have this on Ulta. I've seen this before. This is part of Korean skincare though. Cute. I don't like pink usually, but this is really cute. Ooh, it's like ombre. Alrighty. Um, I thought this was like a scrub, so I won't do this other part I was going to do. This is just a lip balm, oil soothing lip balm I was gonna do that I got on the website that I'm gonna link. And by the way, you can make your own lip scrub at home with using just brown sugar, um, some type of olive oil and honey, and you just mix that all up. And you can even just do honey and the brown sugar, but I like to be I like that little extra moisturizer and just get it and just scrub it really good on your lips and get all that dead skin off and then that really helps and it's natural you made it at home you saved money there you go and then after that of course put on some type of lip balm or lip oil and you'll thank me later so let's see how this looks though did i just get two of the same thing okay I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a difference with this skincare beauty, this Korean skincare beauty. I'm really excited to continue it. Um, if you have any tips or anything like that, please let me know if you've used it before. Um, any products that you recommend for what I'm looking for. Like I said, I have sensitive skin, concerned of um, acne prone skin, you know, here and there, blemish skin, acne scars is what I'm really concerned of whatever yeah i still love me i love the skin i'm in 
grateful for everything and yes so thank you so much again and please like this video share comment um and please follow me on all platforms i have a tiktok i have a facebook i have a instagram just make sure you follow me because i post some funny stuff and some good stuff too about uh, different tips with skincare makeup things like that so thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you next time hey, hey, hey.